to try to think about uh, waking up every day and saying, life has no point, the world has no value, there is no purpose worth pursuing and there's nothing that I want to be, but then to get up and pay your taxes and get in a bus and the rest of it, that seems to be a kind of lived paradox and I don't think that, that, that it's, a, it's, a, it's not a stable intellectual position certainly and it's certainly not a, a viable uh, life position. And when people say these things, when people adopt the posture of despair and of negativity in this universalizing kind of way, um, I, I think of it as a kind of affectation. And what they're really doing is they're being angry. Okay, the world is absurd. It doesn't offer us any meaning. It doesn't, there's nothing there to, to discover, to take the cover off, and you find the thing that gives value to your existence. So it's up to you. And in fact, the fact that it's up to you is a terrifying fact. I mean, freedom is an agony. The responsibility to create meaning is a, is a very profound responsibility. But, and this harks back to that classical tradition of the, the, the courageous moral life, you know, grasp it, try and do it, find something, create something, um, recognize the, the palliative character, but profoundly palliative character of love, of the human affections and friendship, and live with dignity. And w when you do this, you find something, sounds very, very simple and sounds very glib, but it's really true, that the meaning of life is to make life meaningful. That, that's a responsibility you have. You know, it doesn't have to be the great American novel or the great marble sculpture, which is better than Michelangelo or the great symphony. It could be, you know, visiting your family or, or walking in the country or something. I mean, one, one thing which has been hijacked from, from human consciousness is the fact that the, the details, the minutiae of life, slicing and cutting food and, and cooking it and sharing it with friends or, or reading a, a, a beautiful poem or listening to music or watching birds or something, that these things, uh, these things have value because of the effect that they have on us. That the measure, the way we calibrate the value of things that we do see, experience, encounter, has something to do with the, the kind of, of, of work it does for us. That's why it has value. When, when people say, look, you have an aspiration and you work towards it, would it matter if you never got there? You put the question much more dramatically, as Albert Camus did, by saying, could Sisyphus have a meaningful life? Okay, uh, and, and the answer is yes, because it's the attitude that the, an individual has to, to the existence, has to the endeavor, the nature of the endeavor, made valuable by the goal that it would realize if it succeeded in realizing it. It's the, you know, it's the, the cliche, journey is much more important than the arrival, etc., etc. All those things are, are actually deeply true because it's the lived experience, moment to moment, hour to hour, of the endeavor, of the effort. You can turn it around and say, what do you value in your friends? What do you admire people for? Do you only admire people if they've achieved something, or do you admire them because they want to achieve something and they're sincerely trying to do it? And, and when you look at it that way, you see that, that the, 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 in a way, the endeavor is the thing. I would say that, that, that what, what, what one, of the, one of the recognitions of the possibility of the good and of all its varieties, all the varieties of good, is that uh, we, we, we are what there is, that this universe is what there is. There's nothing outside there. There are no Olympian or Norse gods or spirits or demons or one god or 50 gods. There's not, none of that stuff. Uh, and so we're free to think. We're free to see. The clouds, the smoke is gone. And we can, we can make decisions and make choices and it's that autonomy, it's the exercise of autonomy, which is uh, when it's done responsibly and when a case can be made for what you choose, is the source of the good in life.